Animals and Scale, Part 2. There's many characteristics of animals that are related to this uh, geometric uh, relationship between uh, size, area, and volume. That uh, basically, as the size of something increases, the uh, area and volume both increase, but at different proportions. Now, one um, uh, example of uh, relationship between uh, area and volume that uh, <coughs> affects uh, timing is that the time it takes for something to dissolve or to burn uh, depends on the um, size. So uh, something like a grain of sugar dissolves very quickly, a uh, sugar cube dissolves much more slowly. Uh, similarly, a tiny piece of wood burns very quickly, a large log uh, burns uh, very slowly. So that timing uh, gives a sense of scale. Now, uh, it may not be obvious, but the uh, complexity of the internal organs of animals uh, is closely related to this um, connection between uh, dissolving and area and volume. So the, um, uh, the amount that's absorbed um, <coughs> in the internal organs, uh, whether it's uh, food or uh, air absor absorbed by lungs, uh, the amount that's absorbed goes as the area. However, uh, the amount that uh, needs to be consumed goes as the volume. So uh, something like an earthworm will have very simple internal organs, rabbit more complicated, and a horse uh, much more complicated yet still. And uh, this is also related to the fact that uh, food consumption uh, per pound of body weight uh, scales with um, different uh, animal sizes. So something small like a mouse has to eat 28% uh, of its body weight uh, daily. Uh, something like a zebra only has to eat about 2%. Uh, and this is because the uh, caloric energy that's required uh, is proportional to area, but the uh, body weight uh, goes as volume. So uh, relative to their size, uh, small animals are voracious eaters. Uh, another uh, relation that um, is similar is the uh, heart rate. Uh, so the oxygen uh, amount that's uh, required uh, goes as the area of the animal, but the um, size of the heart scales with the volume. So uh, small animals have relatively small hearts compared to um, the amount of oxygen that needs to be uh, pumped uh, in their body. So a mouse has a rapid pulse of over 600 beats per minute, and a large animal like a donkey uh, only about 37 beats per minute. Uh, now this heart rate uh, has a lot to do with the um, uh, how an animal behaves. So the smaller animals uh, tend to be frisky, uh, jittery, um, excited, active, uh, compared to the um, slower moving um, large animals uh, because the, the heart rate determines a lot of the uh, timing in um, an animal's behavior. Uh, similarly, uh, longevity is a physical cue for size. Uh, small animals tend to have short lifespans, um, large animals uh, significantly longer uh, lifespans. Uh, in essence, the, um, the heart has about uh, 1 billion uh, heartbeats uh, before uh, failure. So uh, basically the failure rate is about the same for all animals, um, but uh, since the small animals uh, run through their um, uh, heartbeats much faster. They have uh, tend to have shorter lifespans. The furriness of an animal is another physical cue for size, and this is because the heat production 
goes as the volume, whereas the heat loss goes as the surface area. So um, small animals have a small volume relative to their uh, surface area, so uh, they lose a lot of heat. So they uh, either need to be very furry or um, bundled together, do um, various things to uh, maintain their heat. Uh, large animals, on the other hand, often have uh, trouble staying uh, cool. So um, large animals in a hot climate uh, adapt by either uh, living in water or having, uh, for example, the elephant, the large ears are mostly to um, uh, vent heat. Uh, so. Now this uh, relates to the sorts of climates that uh, animals tend to live in. So the small animals, in order to uh, maintain warmth, need to uh, live in uh, relatively warm climates. Uh, so you won't find any small animals uh, in the Arctic. Uh, they are mostly large animals. In fact, the largest uh, land carnivore is the uh, polar bear. Uh, you could find, uh, well, you don't find a large animal like an elephant in the pole uh, simply because an elephant needs uh, plants to eat uh, since it's an herbivore. So. Um, it's uh, not well suited. So the uh, large animals that live in um, warmer climates need to uh, adapt in other ways. Now, the uh, sound that an animal makes, uh, specifically the, the pitch, uh, is a physical cue for size. So you have small animals with high-pitched squeaky voices, uh, large animals with deeper voices. And, and this is since the uh, frequency goes inversely with the wavelength and um, that wavelength scales with the size of the uh, pipe or string or whatever uh, instrument is uh, creating the sound. So in fact, um, uh, increasing the size by a factor of two uh, changes the pitch by one octave. The uh, loudness uh, is another physical cue for size. A um, small animal uh, c does not have enough volume uh, to produce uh, very l uh, loud sounds uh, compared to a, um, a larger animal. And then uh, the characteristics of the face, such as the uh, size of the eyes, the ears, the mouth, uh, and also the um, size of the brain relative to um, the uh, size of the rest of the head, uh, uh, these tend to uh, be larger, uh, relatively speaking, for uh, small animals. So small animals have proportionally large eyes, ears, mouths, uh, brains, uh, so forth. And, and part of this is the uh, required processing capability uh, goes as the uh, as the area. So uh, basically, uh, a lion doesn't need uh, eyes that are uh, that much bigger than uh, an ordinary cat. Now, having said all of these things, uh, of course, creating a magical animated world, uh, many of these uh, physical principles that uh, animals in the real world have to obey. Uh, if you want to create a magical world, then uh, you s may specifically want to uh, bend these rules or break these rules. And you realize that uh, that is what is creating that fantasy and the magic. So um, by understanding what are the principles that uh, make animals in our world look the way they do and sound the way they do and move the way they do uh, should help uh, everyone from uh, character designers to animators uh, create a world that uh, feels magical. So in uh, summary, uh, small animals have simple internal organs. Uh, they eat a lot relative to their weight. 
Small animals have a quick heart rate, which tends to make them uh, active and jittery, uh, very frisky. Uh, small animals have a shorter lifespan for this reason. Uh, small animals uh, need fur to stay warm, and they tend to live in uh, warmer climates. Small animals have uh, squeaky voices because of their small uh, mouths, and they uh, cannot produce very uh, loud sounds. Uh, that may seem contradictory if you've ever had a cat wake you up at uh, one o'clock, but uh, certainly a screaming human uh, is much louder at one o'clock. And uh, finally, small animals have relatively large facial features such as uh, eyes and ears. So hopefully that um, helps you look at animals in a new way. Since um, basically all of these um, characteristics have a basics have a basis in physics.